Hey guys, Steve Waltz here with Beamer Toyota in Nashville. So, had a question that's actually a really good question and I've never answered it before. So I wanted to go ahead and answer it for you guys in a way that's gonna make some sense. So um, I'm in a RAV4 hybrid right now, um, but all hybrids are gonna be pretty much the same thing when it comes to a Toyota hybrid. Now, if you look in the very center here, you're gonna see that I've kind of come up with this setting right here. You can kind of go through different menus if you're going through these right here like this. But if you're on this menu right here, you see it shows the battery and it shows like how you're driving stuff like that would show up whether or not the engine's charging the battery or not you see we're just kind of on battery right now if you come over to this screen here you'll be able to hit this button here and you can go into energy flow right and you can kind of see the same thing with your battery and it would show where power was going so if it was throwing power from the battery to the wheels you'd see a orange or a red line just depending on what it, what it was doing a green lines orange line you, you see different lines depending on what it's doing right um so if i turn the heat all the way to up you're gonna see the engine will start and once the engine starts you're gonna see you got the it's gonna to run to the battery and it's showing you up here that is running to the battery it'll show you just different things like that but what people ask they look and they go why is the battery not all the way charged right and i'm going to turn this thing back down because it needs to be colder anyway <laughs> but uh the battery you'll notice it always seems to get to like a max where you're going to be about two off like two notches off of full right and it won't let you get down below about two notches so you don't run the battery all the way down and you don't fill it all the way up and the answer is why and it's because toyota doesn't want to because they like their cars to last a long time that being said, if you run this battery all the way up to fully charged each time and then bring it all the way down to fully depleted each time, you actually decrease the useful life of the battery. If you keep it between this 80% and 20%, where you just kind of keep it right here in this very center, if you keep it there for a longer amount of time, the battery will have a longer life. Toyota engineers these things to last 300,000 miles they want to make sure that the battery is not an issue. So now the other thing I'll tell you is it, currently the battery has a 10 year, 150,000 mile warranty on all the current hybrids. Now, if you go back a few years, it was actually, it was uh, eight years, 100,000, but that was still a lot, right? So depending on what you're buying, it could have either one of those. Um, and then your components have an eight year, 100,000 mile warranty on them. So. Toyota believes in their hybrids. They're gonna give it every chance to be as efficient as possible and also to last as long as possible. So it's gonna do everything it can to be efficient. So here's your next thing. So you come down here and you see this EV mode. And a lot of times you'll hit this EV mode. Now this one actually turned on, but a lot of times you'll hit that and it'll say battery charging or it'll say uh, uh, batteries, uh, I forgot the exact wording, but it'll basically say that your battery doesn't have enough charge to be in EV mode right that is kind the ev mode is kind of not a real thing all right so ev mode is if you hit the gas in any meaningful way at all you'll it'll say excessive acceleration and it'll shut you off ev mode ev mode is almost basically like if you're trying to drive a golf cart that's kind of what i can talk about when i'm saying the ev mode EV mode is not really meant to drive your car. You're not gonna get 80 miles in EV mode. It's not gonna work. You're gonna get up to, I think it's 20 miles an hour maximum. And that's only if you are very, very light on the throttle and feather the throttle. The, the vehicle is meant to drive as a hybrid. It's meant to use the electric and the gas together as a hybrid. It's not meant to fully power itself off of just the battery. The prime version or the, now they're calling it the plug-in hybrid version, those do have a 44 mile range up to 80 miles an hour. It's a bigger battery. It's it's actually got a little bit more horsepower because it's, it's a little bit different. So if it's in the plug-in hybrid or the prime, depending on what year you're looking at, that's different. But you're still gonna try to not have your battery be over about that 80% or under about that 20% just for longevity. So um, if it's, you know, now here's the other thing. Say you look at it, no, oh, I got it up to the top knot. It's not a reason to panic. Usually what that means is that you've had the regenerative braking kick in for whatever, maybe you're coasting, maybe you're going down the mountains or something like that. It's gonna try to grab energy. So it's not going to always 
stay in that range, it can grab a little bit extra um, just to be more efficient. So if that's what, if, if that's up there, it's not a bad thing to be up there. It's just, they try to keep it in that sweet spot. Long-winded, I know, but I'm trying to answer a question in a way that will answer it for the most amount of people. So hopefully that helps you guys. Steve Welch here with Beaman Toyota in Nashville, just showing you your answer on why your battery will always seem to lie somewhere in the middle of that 80-20 range. So you guys have a great day. I'm going to talk to you soon.